Hello children, hope you all are keeping fine. Today, I am going to teach you about the parts of our body. Our body has different organs and each organs have their own special functions. So, let's check out some important parts of our body and its functions. First one, head. Head is the topmost part of our body where we can see hair. An important organ in our body, that is brain, is situated in the head. Our next organ, it is neck. Neck is the place where the head joins with our body. Next, it is face. It is on the face, we can see our eyes, nose, mouth and ears. Now, let's study about eyes. Children, tell me how many eyes do you have? Yes, two eyes. Do you know the function of eyes? Yes, it is the eyes that helps us to see. Next organ, it is nose. How many nose do we have, children? Yes, there is only one nose for us. And what is the function of a nose? Yes, it helps to smell. Yes. It is a nose that helps us to smell things. It also helps us to breathe. Our next important organ is our ears. Children, tell me how many ears are there for you? Yes, you have two ears. And tell me, which organ helps you to hear? Hear sounds of animals, birds, humans. Huh? Tell me. Yes, it is the ears that helps us to Hear sounds and there is also another important function for ear that is to maintain the body balance that you will study in higher classes and all. Okay. Next we are going to study about mouth. Our mouth consists of tongue, teeth and lips. So first we are going to study about tongue. Children, it is the tongue that helps us to know different taste. If you eat a chocolate, what taste will you feel? Yes, sweet, isn't it? And uh, what about lemon? It tastes sour, isn't it? Yes, so it is a tongue that helps to identify different tastes. Next, we will study about teeth. Children, why do we need teeth? It is the teeth that helps to chew food. We should chew food properly while eating. Otherwise, it may cause indigestion. Okay. Our next organ, it is neck. It is the neck that helps us to turn and rotate our head. Next, we will study about chest. Chest is situated under the neck. It is the place where many important parts of our body like heart, lungs, etc. are situated. Our next organ, it is stomach. Children, do you know where the food that we eat reaches? It is in the stomach. Stomach also contains some important organs like liver, kidneys, etc. The food that we eat as digested inside the stomach. Okay. Our next organ, they are arms. How many arms do we have children? We have two arms, isn't it? Yes, it is the arms that helps us to do different day-to-day -day activities in our life. And we all know that we can bend our arms, we can rotate our arms, isn't it? Yes. And according to our needs, we can use these arms. Next, we are going to study about fingers. Children, why do we need fingers? We need fingers to hold things. You just think about how will you hold your pencil. Yes, it is with the help of the fingers, isn't it? And uh, sometimes if your rubber fell down or pencil fell down, what will you do? How will you take it? Yes, with the help of your Fingers. And tell me how will you take food? Yes, it is with the help of fingers. And now tell me how many fingers do you have? Yes, we have 10 fingers. 
Okay, and uh, next we are going to study about our legs. Children, we all know that legs are the very important parts in our body, isn't it? How many legs do we have? Yes, we have two legs. How will you walk? With the help of our legs. You can run, you can jump, you can hop. All these things you can do with the help of the legs. Like arms, we can also rotate and bend our legs and it is because of these rotation and uh, bending and all we can walk run and do all the activities with the legs properly children now we have studied about important body parts and their functions and now it's the time to do worksheets so just match the following i have given here in section a you can see some important organs and in section b you can see their functions you have to match that organs correctly with their functions okay so let's start the first one it is eyes so what's the function of eyes to see next one nose what's the function of nose yes to smell next one tongue what's the function of tongue to taste next one ears what's the function of ears to yes to hear next one fingers What's the function of fingers? Yes, to hold. Children, hope you all answered correctly and a big congrats to those who have answered well. And now is the time to wind up today's video and hope you all enjoy today's video. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. And we will meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.